And so to get that email from David, um, and you know, felt it really was a lifeline in many ways because um, it, it it gave us strength. Uh, you know, f we didn't feel so alone anymore. So the fellowship supports individuals and groups who are at the forefront of tackling censorship and we honour them at an award ceremony during a week of activities. So in addition to the award ceremony we have a programme of activities that includes workshops to help individuals with training in areas such as communications, PR, fundraising, digital security and it's all aimed at helping them maximise their impact in the work that they do. It's given us hope and it's given us um, resolve to continue. So and I also guess, some yeah. concrete ways as well, right? Yeah. So some of the meetings, for example, we just had a meeting with uh, GoFundMe and uh, we, it was something we've been thinking about is crowdfunding and, and, and just to, but you know, you, you, okay, you know that this is an opportunity but you don't know how to do it and sometimes you just need someone to say, this is how you do it and, this is, and we will help you. We spoke with a range of incredible people from around the world about the challenges they're facing uh, in protecting their reputation, building their brands and telling incredible stories about the activism that they're doing around the world. It's been um, I mean, totally inspirational to be able to help these people take a kind of high level view about the work they've been doing, maybe challenge them in some areas, provoke them to think slightly differently about the way they're executing that work and hopefully bring that big picture thinking down to a more distilled um, way of going back about their communications work once they're back in country. We're usually looking at the needs of others, of other communities, uh, whereas here we get to look at our own workflows and uh, how we present our work to the community. So it's very different. It's, it's something that you rarely get a chance to stop. And you don't have a reputation on a Monday and it's the same on the Friday. It's continually moving, right? I thought that I'm not normal when I felt like uh, when I hear that someone is going near my flat I thought that it's police uh, and uh, police uh, are going to arrest me uh, but uh, when we had uh, a group conversation I heard that uh, people from Turkey and uh, people from another countries uh, feel the same. Uh, it's, I think it's really useful to see that the other people you met here are almost have the same problems with you. It makes us feel less lonely, you know, in this world.